Hello, my angels. So today we have a sponsored video. It's my first sponsored video. Well, technically my second because when I got the free pill box from that company, Puliv, P-U-L-I-V, on um, Amazon, it was like a really cool pill box. But that's not what this is about. This one is a Temu haul. Temu haul. They gave me a $50 credit and I got to choose what I wanted. And now you get to see. If you click on the link below, they actually gave me like all this text to put in the description box. Um, you will see the items that were sent to me and you will get 30% off if you're a new subscriber. Um, I get no money from this. I just got the credit. That was it. But let's see what's happening in the back. I'm not quite sure exactly how many quantities or what. I just know that I gave them a list of what I wanted and then backups. So I'm so excited. Okay. So this bag came in. <laughs> right? We're like, where are the shops? <laughs> where are the shops? <laughs> Here they are. I think this is it. One strap. Right? And let's let's figure this out, right? Because we're doing this together. This is what it would feel like if you got it. This bag was like $9. It's a YSL dupe. I just ordered a YSL pin that I'm going to put right there. And I'm going to rock this until it starts chipping. And it's no longer cute. It's plain on the back. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm... Because it's supposed to be like an, in, an eternity one. An eternity or infinity kind of like strap. I'm clipping these two together. And now we have this back. So, um, you have this awkward thing here if you wear it as a shoulder bag. I guess you could kind of hide it, but then you have to be very aware. I would probably wear it as a crossbody, only because it's too much work to try to figure out. Make sure that this part's in the back. And then I would wear it like this as a crossbody. And I would just put it over. Oh, there goes my headband. I'm bringing sexy back. Meow. Okay. And then <laughs> I would wear it like that. Now it's weird for me, this length. Um, let me just show you. As a crossbody. I think this would be better for more petite people as a crossbody. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to go on Amazon. I'm going to look for chain. I'm going to figure, I know my, my perfect length is 47.6 inches. So then I, if I want it to be eternity... I have to buy like 96 inches um, in order for it to be what I want it to. No, 92 inches. 92, 93 inches. In order for it to be the length I want it to be. And I just have to make sure that the chain is small enough to go through. I don't mind investing in that. The chain is relatively thin uh, and relatively cheap on Amazon. And I would just upgrade this bag. I could literally wear it like this. And... This would be more of an appropriate look for my height with the bag that it came. But the truth is I want it to be an eternity chain. Now, what you can do with this one, because I'm an arts and crafts girl too, is every link has a connecting point. So what I would do is you find the connecting point, which is right there. See that, that little hole right there? I would open this up, possibly with like little needle nose pliers, and then I would take this connection point, right? I would get rid of this entirely connect these two, close them, and now you have an eternity or an infinity chain. You don't have to worry about these little clip thingies showing. That's what I would do. So if you don't want to invest in anything and you like the way it looks and you like the way it fits as is, there is this here. Somebody said you just put a little, a little bit of a blow dryer. Not too much because you're going to burn this and we're not responsible for it. Just very low, like, and then that's it it'll kind of rub out whatever markings you might have from the shipping. Um, I like this bag. I already ordered the YSL pin, so I will be getting that. I'm probably going to, for now, open this up with needle nose pliers, connect the two, close them, and use it as is until the chain comes in. Um, if even, because I might just wear it as a shoulder bag, or if I can fix it, then I could wear it like this as like an under, you know, a little bit closer to my body but for nine dollars once that YSL pin goes on there <laughs> it's gonna look fire okay next so the next thing is these melanin pads so I, I had ordered these before they gave me five because I asked them for five 
They were 79 cents each at the time that I bought them. And supposedly they help clean your pots and pans. Let's see if that's true. <laughs> if you guys saw my other video, I did order something like this with a handle. Uh, I think it's in the kitchen. And what happens is these are my pots and pans and they're really black. And I was really trying to scrub it with the scrub buddies from uh, the Dollar Tree, but it takes me hours. Like this, this pan will take me about four to five hours with all the elbow grease trying to get off and it'll come off, but then my roommates will ruin it. So I'm just gonna see really quickly with no water in front of you guys how this works. Oh, oh, wait a minute. How this works. Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> that was fast. I'm wondering if sandpaper will work at this point because that's what it feels like. So it feels like, oh, okay, so it's just the brown. Did I dirty my shirt? It's just the brown that's coming off, the, the actual color of this. I thought it was like rubbing off the black. Hold on. Yeah, it is. Look at that. <gasps> this is working so much faster than this. Okay, you guys. Oh, look at that. This is this. This is it. <laughs> this, is, this I just showed you. Look at this. Yeah, I don't want to get it in my face. I don't want to inhale it. It's doing the, the deed with no water. Did I rub it out? Let's use another part. That's crazy. I feel like an infomercial. It's breaking it down, you guys. Anything else? I'm impressed. Okay, this shirt's gone. This shirt's done. So, huh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this tonight. And I'm gonna get this sparkling. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna put in the description box how many of these I needed to use to get this. This is crazy. To get this whole thing to be like this. It's probably gonna be like two or three, but it's still worth it because it took me like two or three of these and more time. I'm all about the time, you guys. This was impressive. This is what that did. And I didn't even get to this part. And you see that it looks like I scrubbed and I scrubbed and I scrubbed and I scrubbed. That was with the, but this one went right into, boom, I got it off. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm so impressed. So now I got to get this off my hands because I didn't expect my hands to get this dirty. Ah, microfiber cloths. God's gift to humanity. All right, and then I'm gonna just spray my hands real quick with perfume to get the, it's like alcohol perfume, to get everything off because I don't know what, I, what else anything is and I don't wanna stain it. Oh my God, that was the coolest. That was like the coolest demonstration I've ever done. I'm really excited. You know what? I should work on QVC. No, it's done. Okay. <laughs> Next, oh my God, they gave it to me. So I have a cat, right? It, it gets better. It does. It gets better. Just trust me. Um, I have a cat and they had this. Oh, interesting. It comes with four little screws because you can take off the rubber, screw this into whatever. If you want to put it on the corner of a wall, if you want to put it on actual furniture, which I would never do, I would put it in the wall because I don't care. I've been here forever. My landlords can just drywall like plaster on it and then you screw this in and when your cat walks by they rub against it <laughs> that's for my cat so cute oh she's gonna love this I haven't bought her anything in a long time like you know when she was younger I used to buy her all kinds of toys and stuff she's really smart and I'm not saying that because she's my cat I mean like everyone says it she's really smart she's like a puppy or a dog versus a cat. She's very loving. These are so crazy useful, you guys. So have you ever tried to like clean the inside of like um, a sink, like where it turns the corner or your, your bathtub or even the top of the spout? This bends 
in whatever direction you want it to bend. So you can actually get into those crevices of the corner of the bathtub. This is genius. You can go around the sink if you want to clean it. Around anything, it'll bend. I, I have so much trouble cleaning corners because you have to like go to the corner, then you have to scrub it this way. No, 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 you just, genius. You're welcome. I know I'm helping people out there. You're welcome. All right, what else? Okay, so this I'm gonna actually fold. I'm so happy. I've been really happy lately, like with the purchases I've been making. Thank you, Temu. Thank you so much. Um, all right. Oh, the games. Okay, so I have a lot of friends with kids. I'm dating again, and a lot of people my age have kids. I never know what to get these kids. So this is a crocodile game. And when you open his mouth, he has little teeth. And then you press the teeth. And at some point, like, so you each take turns. There's one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve teeth. So this is like for like two to five year olds. And then you take your turn pressing the teeth. And when you hit the wrong, like one of, at some point, it's like Jenga. At some point, somebody's going to press the teeth. And then the whole thing's going to, it's not going to hurt the kid. It's not going to break the kid's finger or anything. These are the instructions. I just thought it was super cute. Somebody else had this in their Temu haul, and I was like, this is a great gift and a great thing to have if I date a guy and he has like a two or three, what am I going to do with the two or three year old? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we'll talk, we'll hang out, we'll laugh, but this is a fun game to play. So I went ahead and I got that and I got two of them. Thank you. Cause I want to keep one cause I'm a giant child. Um, but also like if kids come to my house, I want to have this here. And then I also wanted to have one as a gift. I have no idea what this is. This is like Christmas. Oh my gosh, my wax burner. So if you guys have been watching my channel, um, I had this, this idea of like melting, like making, writing letters and then sealing them with wax, right? With wax seals. So what happened was at first I bought the wax from Temu, of course. And then, and I'll have links for all the stuff I bought. And they came like this. These are multicolored. If you don't want the multicolored ones, I actually have to open these up and separate them because I don't want to mix them together. That would be interesting though. I wonder how that would look. Um, and then uh, you would melt them in this spoon. So I bought the spoon, right? So you take a tea light candle. You put the wax in here. You put it over the tea light candle. You let it burn. Then you pour the wax, it's a little pour, spout, and this is the, the, I got the antique one. You pour the wax onto the envelope and then you seal it. Again, I bought these from Temu. I got the one with my initial. So you just seal it with your initial. And, but I want to get custom ones made, like with my family crest and I want to design it and I want to make designs. And then another one with a heart for like Valentine's day or I love you or like, you know, if you have a boyfriend or something, you leave a note on the bed with a little seal, they open it up and it says, go to this room. And then it becomes like a scavenger hunt, right? I, this is my Ringles. So then I was like, you know what, but I want something a little bit more sophisticated. I want the whole set. So for, for a few dollars, I don't know, it'll be anywhere from two to five, uh, three to five dollars, depending if you get the lightning deal or not. I got this one. They have it in a natural wood color and in the white. And it's easier because you could put the tea light candle here. You put this on top. This feels like wood. That's the only thing that concerned me is, is it wood and will the wood go on fire? It has this little top that goes on top and then the spoon goes right here. So you don't have to do as much work and you don't have to worry because when you put the spoon down, you're going to have to, if you don't have this, you're going to need to have something that's fireproof or, you know, that's hot that after you pour the wax, you can put it on there. Um, you know what I find that works very well? So I have one here, the coasters from the Dollar Tree. No, I don't have one. Oh, maybe here. They're the coasters from the Dollar Tree that are here that are made of this material. They're like this clay material. So if you, if you just bought the spoon because you like that spoon better and you like that look better there, you know, these are all from Temu items. Then you would just put this here, right? Let it cool down, put more wax beads in it and then put it over the tea light. You have to hold it, wait for it to heat up and then go down. But if you wanted the set, this is easier. You just turn the tea light on. Make sure this thing doesn't go on fire. I don't think it will. And then, and then 
you can just leave it like that, let it heat up on its own. Oh, wait a minute. Well, that's because I have it in my hands. No, it's secure because what happens is it leans like that on this. You see how it's like perfectly aligned. So it's secure when it's on a flat surface. And then once it's hot and it's melted, then you can pour it and then put it right back on the stand. So you don't have to worry about where you're going to put it, what you're going to do. And it looks really pretty. This is really pretty. It's a very deep yellow gold, but I thought this was super cute. So I am definitely happy about that because I was going to buy it. And then when they gave me this credit, I was like, let me buy everything in my cart that I didn't get yet. <laughs> if you guys have seen all my, any of my other videos, the first useful one was a really useful one. It was a really good one. Um, I really like that video. I'll put the link below. That's like my favorite video. I have like over 6,000 views and I'll probably have over like 20 or 30 by the time some of you reach this video. It's a really good video. Then I got these headbands. So now we're getting into the fashion, but then it's going to go back to useful and toys. Oh, you got, oh, I got all three. Okay. So these, I'm really happy about these. Um, our super size headband. So I have really curly hair. Like if you've seen any of my like middle videos, uh, sometime in the middle when I started making these videos, I think this is the one I want to wear today. Um, this is the B headband from Amazon. So you can just go on Amazon and write the word B E E headband. And this is the only one that there's only one seller that still has these. Um, but this right here, I'm going to take it off. Take it off. Oh my God. I even look better. I actually look better with this one than with that one. I'm going to buy more of these. I'm going to go out and spend my own money and buy more of these because when you have curly hair, it is so difficult to get it to just look good. So I feel like, I mean, is it going to hold my hair back? There is some resistance because of the way that it's woven. I just like it. Even with my straight hair, bad hair day. Look, I look better. I, tell me no. From the way that I look before to now, so much better. So much better, you guys. Bad hair days. Hello. You guys looking for your wives. They have bad hair days. You know your wife. You know your girlfriend. Right? Let's look at all these colors. I love these headbands. I'm probably going to get like two or three more of each. I think they were like $2.49 each. It might be less. I don't know. I love them all. This is more of a summer one. Um, these are really great for vacations. These are great to just hold your hair back. I'm so grateful and happy that I ordered these. I don't love this one. I mean, I'm sure somebody will, but this one's not my favorite. This one's my favorite. This I would rock probably at home or if I'm wearing something of that color. I love this one. I do like this one, but this is more for me, more summer, more vacation. This is my favorite one. I'm probably going to get three more of these. I'm going to put these in my cart tonight before you guys do so that I can get it. <laughs> I like this one, probably because I'm wearing red lipstick. I still like it. So I'm going to get three more of this one. I like this one. Um, for all of my New Yorkers or anyone who's from Brooklyn or anybody who's been to Brooklyn or anybody who just wants to rep Brooklyn, I had to get this. First, I wanted to get one before I bought more. I'm probably going to get like five or six more of these if I like it because I'm a New Yorker, but I'm a Queens girl. They don't ever make anything with queens on it. And this one is a tote bag that says Brooklyn, 19, uh, 1898, New York. It's a super simple tote bag. As you can see, it's not too, it's like an east west, not too tall. I would say you look at the measurements online, but it'll hold some stuff. It's a good book tote. Whenever you see the X, like this stitching of the X, it's going to hold some weight. I feel like this is a good little carry on, like carry all. If you're going out and you have a big bag, but you might know, you know, you might do some big shopping. I recommend the long champ bag. Temu also has a dupe of a long champ bag for about $7. I'll put the link for that. But then they have this one. So I would put this in my bag. If I know I'm going to go shopping, maybe to the farmer's market or something like that. Um, you could put everything in here. Or the, I like, the reason I like the Longchamp ones and the Longchamp dupes is because they have like a plastic lining on the inside. So especially if you're going to like the farmer's market, you don't want anything to like spill or get wet or moistened. With this, it might stain it. So this is like a good book tote or like a whatever tote, but this is going to get dirty eventually. But I like it. Um, you could throw that in the laundry if you know how to get stains out and stuff like that. But with the, like the, the Longchamp bags or the Longchamp dupes, 
it's a plastic lining that you just rub you, you spray it and you rub it on the inside and it never seeps out to the outside that's a that's a no-brainer for me so I'll put the link below um, I really like that bag and I made a whole video on like some of the luxury I'll put the link below the luxury Temu dupes that I found and then I did another video of the faux leather bags that I found on Temu um, and one of them was an Hermes dupe and it is a good Hermes dupe really good like you got to watch that video if you like Hermes it's the second bag that I show and then I have these oversized bags that I've been using to bring all my stuff to the post office the the red and the brown and those are really nice they're near the end of the video um really really nice pieces so I had and they're all from Temu so hello <laughs> so these this is my personal passion this is great for kids for families for couples it's a game this is the last thing from this haul you're going to be able to click on the direct links of what was in the box anything that I mentioned I'll have the links below these are puzzles but the puzzles look like this they're like they're not they literally go like that you know what I mean like it's a 3d puzzle it's not a square and they're not traditional puzzle pieces. Oh, I love this one because I'm, I'm doing a documentary on indigenous people called theindigenousdocumentary.com. Um, and I started off with Peru and Sedona. And I'm editing the film and putting everything together. But there's bits and pieces on the website if you guys want to check it out. And there's a parable, if you guys haven't heard it yet, of the wolves. Right? So this is like yin and yang the dark wolf and the light wolf. So basically uh, a grandfather's telling the child because this is how they always pass on histories through stories, right? And they would say, you know, in every person there are two wolves that are fighting. One wolf is good and the other wolf is evil. And then the child asks the grandfather, he goes, well, which one wins? And the grandfather says, whichever one you feed. So there's certain times in life where you're feeding the good wolf, there's certain times where you're feeding the evil wolf, but if you choose to stop feeding the evil wolf, he will starve. And then the good wolf will win and vice versa. So there's this ongoing thing within people that they're always going between good and bad and are you born good or you're born evil? You know, like it's just a really interesting conversation we could have, right? But I got this because to me, it represents my documentary. It represents the parable of the Native Americans, which I'm very, I love them and I honor them and I respect them so much. And then this giraffe, I'm six feet tall and my aunt used to, and everyone in my family's five foot five and under. So my mom, my aunt used to call me the giraffe, la jirafa. And she gave me a pajama with a giraffe. So I got this in honor of my aunt who recently passed because oh, it even looks like her eyes. Oh, I love it. Um, thank you, Temu, because she always called me la jirafa. So that's what I have for you guys. Thank you for getting to know me. <laughs> I love this head. Tell me you don't love this headband. I mean, I honestly think it made me look better. Like that was a transformation <laughs> right there. Um, I really like this. I don't know, honestly, like I bought it for my curly hair, but because my curly hair is so wild and, and it has a mind of its own, I don't know if this headband is going to hold my curly hair down, but because there's like holes in it, like you can see that. You could take safe, not safety pins, that's crazy. Bobby pins, don't ever put safety pins in your hair. You could take bobby pins and kind of pin it in to keep it from moving with the curly hair. So there's a solution for everything, you guys. If you learn anything from me and watching my videos and the faux pas and the crazy things that I do and the things that I end up fixing, like that, that bag, I was like, you know what? This isn't a this isn't a lost case. You we could fix this. Like that's me. I'm like I could fix it. I'm so solution oriented. If you learn anything from watching, and look, it has little combs on there, so you can comb your hair. Like it, it kind of catches your hair and pulls it back for the edges, girls. Is no matter what the problem is, no matter what breaks, no matter you could probably fix it. Unless it's a vase, that's a little different. But then you could break up the pieces and make mosaic art out of it. There's always a solution and there's always a silver lining. So hope you like my videos. If you like my vibe, please subscribe. Hit the notification buttons. I do a lot of dupe videos, just FYI. I do a lot of useful videos. It's called Give Me the Look because it's about just elevating your look when you don't feel like spending a lot of money. But it's also like how you are perceived by the world. So like these puzzles, if you guys, oh, let me just open it up for you guys. 
you guys are gonna see they're not normal puzzle pieces and I'm a nerd like if you guys don't know I'm a giant nerd so I really love to challenge my brain and my mind and I love puzzles I love knowledge I love information look at these pieces they're not normal puzzle pieces and some of them are actually there you go like that one they're shaped like that's a dragonfly they're shaped like animals so you have to like put it together and in the beginning, when you're first doing these puzzles, this is the large. I've never had the large. I've only had the little ones. Do I have one here? Mm, I think I put it away. I usually, oh, here. I usually get these little tiny ones. Right, this one is a wolf. This, is, this I got from another website, but they're so much cheaper on Temu. The large from this website, $25. The large from Temu, $11. Okay, so these pieces are little tiny pieces, right? And sometimes they look like little animals like this one because they're laser cut. So they take a picture that's wood, they cut it into laser pieces, and then they put them in the box. Now, I used to look at the picture to get it um, to, to put the puzzle together. But then I started doing it in like an hour, the little ones. That's why I got the big one because I'm hoping this is more challenging. So then I stopped looking at the picture entirely, and I just started putting like like colored pieces together and trying to piece those together and then see what fits and then I'd have little patches of things that were and then I fit it all together and the puzzle was done this puzzle is gonna be round and it's gonna interlock until you see this picture it's gonna move around I'm just warning you like when you put a piece in it's gonna move and you're like ah you know and then you kind of have to slowly like you're playing that game operation <laughs> that's what it feels like to me you slowly have to because you know when you put when you're trying to get with the operation do you guys remember that the guy's like lying in bed and then he has like little holes in his body and they have pieces that go in there and you're the the surgeon so you have to like try to get the piece and then if you touch any of the metal things it goes and then you you know then you lose this is like what this is like you have to slowly put it in you know what I mean? And then if you move it, the whole thing moves and then you got to kind of like piece it together. It's so much fun. I like it. Some people are going to get really annoyed and get angry and they might even get upset, but I like it. <laughs> so that's what I have for you guys. I hope you like my Temu haul. I'm so excited. Dude, just, just the brush that bends, this is going to just make my life, eventually it's going to fall apart and break. But even if it broke, let's say in half, I would still use this half and this half. <laughs> Seriously, like this is a lifesaver. That pot pan cleaner, I'm going to go clean this right now. This is a brand new shirt. I already ruined it. I made some tuna with some sesame oil, garlic, and soy sauce, a little bit of mirin. And then I used that in the pan. And then I put the tuna in and I flipped it back and forth. And then I, I already bought like pickled ginger because I live in a very Asian neighborhood. So all these ingredients are very like every supermarket has them. And then I put that pickled ginger on top of the tuna steak. Oh my gosh, what an amazing meal. Instant mashed potatoes, not even gonna, and then salad on the side. Super happy. So that's why I think I'm happy too, because I had just a great meal right now. Then I had this box arrive at my door. Then I opened it up and I was like, Woo! I'm so happy. All right, you guys, until next time. Bye.